folks. Welcome in. My name is Joel Duggan, and we are in Satisfactory again today. I don't know why my music is not play pausing as it should be. Technical difficulties at the start of the stream. Great way to start the week. Uh, we are back in Satisfactory. We are going to pick up where we left off with the copper facility. There's some painting and some ceiling decoration and stuff that has to happen. Probably some lights as well. Uh, I do have to let you know that there is a new episode of The Spawn Chunks out right now. That's episode 325. It's available on YouTube and all of your favorite podcasting platforms where Johnny and I talked about the new trailer for a Minecraft movie. And uh, I had some thoughts. I will, I will let you discover for yourself. Uh, watch the trailer. Like Go to Minecraft on YouTube or uh, Warner Brothers on YouTube and watch the trailer. And then go and listen to the, the Spawn Chunks podcast. I, I think... It'll be interesting to hear from from several folks uh, and and get those opinions out there because I it's it's an interesting endeavor. Uh, we'll have to see how it's going to go. It's going to come out on April fourth. Uh, Johnny and I, of course, will going will be going to go see it. I not together because I, he's in the UK and I'm in Canada, but uh, we will go see it and obviously report when it comes back. There will be other trailers, I'm sure, that we'll talk about as well. Um, the behind the scenes video actually is really good on YouTube. So if you're curious about like the work that went into it, the thought that went into it, that was really interesting to see the behind the scenes. Uh, but uh, that's that's it right now. There's um, a new episode of the Citadel Cafe as well, I guess, since the last time I streamed. Yeah, actually, since the last time I streamed, there's a new episode of the Citadel Cafe out as well. That's uh, 486, the Citadel Cafe on YouTube. Uh, it's not a video show, but you can listen on YouTube if you want. Uh, also, wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. And that was about Arcane the first three episodes of season two and that was with myself and my friend steven esc so check that out uh both free uh available wherever you get your favorite podcasts i knew there was more than one thing i had to plug i knew there was more than one thing snuggly boo bear sweet sandy good to see you both hope you're having a fantastic day so far and well coffeed which is essential today there's no such thing as being behind on the spawn chunks, Snuggly Boo Bear. It's a news show, so the news changes from week to week. So you can always listen to the most recent, and then go back and catch up. Alright, while we're up here near the storage, let me just see if I need anything. I can certainly clear a few things out of the inventory. Wow, something feels very strange about my FOV. I don't know why. Those back. Oops. Oh, I should get more crystals. Don't think I need that much quick wire. Icosphere 610, welcome in. Oh, thanks, yeah. Uh, we got the camera for the spawn chunks, but I bounced it back and forth between the um, Mac behind me and the streaming PC. It's not bad. I only have to move it like once a week. That's cool. Uh, it took me a while to get used to it. I'm just old school. So used to doing radio podcasts or radio, audio podcasts for phew, 15 years before we started video on the spawn chunks. So, as everybody knows that was watching last time, uh, we were working in here, working on this room. Uh, I've been really stumped about what to do with the outside. And I had some thoughts, but I just, I'm just i just not quite sure. And while I want to keep a window here, I also have a limitation in here where we've just got stuff happening, so I can't extend the window, essentially. 
Uh, I could maybe put a uh, like a revealing window, but um, the other thing I was thinking about doing was instead of having these be separate, I was thinking it would be neat if I could just take this shape and extend it to be this like one shape. So that would reduce the height here. It would be very low and horizontal. And I think it would help differentiate it from these other buildings. And it would re eliminate, um, I think, some of the, the issues here. The problem is that we'd have to figure out how to deal with... This goes in by a half foundation in here. So it actually comes into this line here. And if I do that, I'm going to lose this amount of room here which I don't want to lose. So we have to think about how to do this in a way where we can keep that door and not have it be completely like recessed. So I might, I might have to figure out how to do that because that's going to be yeah, I don't know. We might have to keep this uh, a full foundation deep. Here, I I didn't necessarily want to do that. So, I don't know. I mean, the more I think about it, the more I, I like this window. But, like, I really don't know what to do with this door. Snuggly says, I was literally typing that work has been killing me lately. That's why I haven't listened to the spawn chunks. Interrupted by work calling me away. Oh no. <laughs> Thanks so much uh, for popping in. Hopefully you're still lurking. There are those days when work just constantly nags at you. I, I get those too. Well, seeing as I don't know how to address this at the front, let's work on the inside. I think that um, I like this window thing. And I think we can probably... Do this over here. Don't know what height that's at. It's like two from the top. Actually touch the bottom, it does. And I think a light would look good there. Good way to get. Um, I was going to make it purple, but we might be able to get away with the orange color in here, or the yellow color. I guess we should probably put an end on the building too. I mean, it makes sense with Devastator in the green, but we could try. I've got a caution yellow somewhere. I think I like the yellow. Goes well with the um, floor and the orange highlights. Half the building is missing. What hole in the wall? There's no hole in the wall. Right? 
Okay. So, uh, I think I need to start kind of like from the ground up here. And because we can see down into here, I'd like to change the colors of these. I, I don't believe I'm going to go and change um, these. I think they might have to stay the way that they are. Um, I could change them into these, but that might be a last last ditch effort. So the thing I need to change is what color are these machines going to be? I think they're going to be orange. It's that, or we go with whatever color that is. It's a little on the boring side. Yeah, I think we go orange. Trying to stick with orange for copper, too. Plus, it's just fun to stay with these... Um, ...primary colors. Now, I also did orange for the belts in here. So we can do orange for all of that, and then the pipes, I don't know if I want to, I might change those to blue, because they do have water in them. It could be kind of fun. Orange and blue is a good combo. Probably that color. I do need to sort out what, um, what blue is being used in Megatron, I think it's that one. I should probably figure that out before I start assigning swatches. Oh, because that's a two meter. Uh, I do one. do we have here? I guess this is not determined. So we have not finished this side of the building yet. So we'll at least go for here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four. Let's do four at a time. supposed to give that that might have a wall there I don't know I'll treat it like it's gonna be a ledge it might end up being a wall 
Uh, and this is going to shift. In order for that to have an end on it. We covered that up down here by having some sort of overlap. I guess I could have another exit or entrance or something here. It might be worth having a way to get into the other area. At which point I could probably cover this up. Oh, this can't have a pattern on it though. How did I do it down here? Full block. Oh, right. Okay. So this will go here. And we'll probably do a full pattern here, I guess. And then a half pattern here. Seems about right. to get turned around, I think. Embrace the darkness. Sweet Sandy, thank you for the TTS sticker and the 200 bits. The Darth Vader one's pretty good, I have to say. I wish that they wouldn't stay on screen so long after they, they're done talking. I can set a time limit and say like, hey, keep it up for 20 seconds. But if somebody's message is like a second and a half, it still stays up there for the full 20 seconds. I think that's pretty good. So then I guess we should think about what's happening down here. This is going to be a wall out there. And uh, I guess we could have this be solid. I feel like it would be better if it was solid here. And I like the idea of using these guys. It's a lot more basic. Plus, if it ends up being visible from out in the main bus, Although, actually, that's not even the main bus. Never mind. Not a big deal. Do... Oh, that's going to be fine. Okay. Leave that open for the wire just so I can know what's going on there. This is all just for the views above. I 
And I tend to leave these gate walls open in places because it allows me to access different parts behind the scenes until we're completely finished with an area. Saves you from walking all over the place trying to figure out where things are going. Uh, here, though, I might keep them as as their green kind of counterparts. Or we could go purple, I guess. And I'm not sure what's going on today. My frame rate is abysmal. I'm not running anything in the background. It's weird. Even looks kind of cool from down here. Gives us some wiggle room if you want to change anything. Alright, let's be smart about this and start with the floor. And I guess we'll just make the floor the same as what we've got above, right? Like it makes the most sense. Um, maybe we'll make this the shiny parts, but then this will change to the uh, the asphalt. Because if I go up here, we did this with the asphalt. I think that looks pretty good. So we'll start with everything underneath the machines. I should probably just grab a bunch of these textures and put them in my hotbar. Do I have a textures hotbar? I do. I wonder if it's gonna be faster to go underneath everything Uh, yes, 100%. Change it all to asphalt and worry about the paths later. So I don't have to worry about aiming around machines. can't tell if these are two meters or not. Can't believe it on Monday either. Low frame rate? No. No, it's, uh, I don't know. I've just, I've been noticing a lot of tech issues just in my studio in general lately, which is weird because the PC and the Mac are not connected in any way, shape or form. So I don't know what the deal is and why it's such a problem, um, but I have been, I just, I just don't have the budget to like get a new PC. Just, um, Johnny's been having issues with his main computer as well, which is frustrating because he does a lot more video work than I do. He streams, but he also does a lot of video editing and stuff for the, for the um, Minecraft survival guide. And so like, I feel for how frustrating that is. And right now the bit, my biggest issue really is my my Mac um, and it's not that it's not working it's just slow uh, and I don't know why it's slow because I'm not I'm not asking it to do too much you know all right so now we can go around the outside with uh, four and unfortunately I can't change the default color of this to this I wish I could or can I? No. Yeah. T 
tech is changing so fast these days. I agree. I agree. These aren't really paths to walk down, so we don't have to worry about anything in there. It's only here. And even then, that technically I think is going to be part of this system. This isn't hooked up yet. Probably do asphalt in there too. And then we have to go around the whole thing and color it. Yeah, I've been trying to keep up and learn a little bit more about AI and see if there's anything I can sort of utilize in my stream to take advantage of it, but there's just so much going on and like you get into the whole internet safety and like for example, there's there's a um, uh, a TTS sticker that I could use to like make my own voice and immediately I'm just like no, I don't I don't want to have the potential for um, like my voice to be used by someone to say anything. My community would be fine with it, but even just someone being able to come into the stream, spend a couple bits and like have my voice say something, not, not cool. And I don't know if people stop to think twice about that kind of thing. I would hope they would. So obviously a lot of this setup was done before uh, a lot of the new material came out, so there's a certain level of me not wanting to rebuild. Um, plus, I think it's nice to have a world where you've got, like, you can see the iteration of, like, well, here's how I started off two years ago, not knowing as much as I know about the game now, and I think it's nice to be able to go back and say, like, yeah, so like, we, we've changed, we've We've, uh, I don't want to say grown, but we've certainly picked up a lot of new tips and tricks. Or you just establish a theme that you didn't realize was going to be a theme. You know, like, I don't know how or when I decided that Devastator was going to be my theme, but then that sprung into, I'm going to make all kinds of different Transformer theme builds. And now that I've done that, I can come back to Devastator and different things around like I can start to m make train stations and stuff look look different which I think will be cool uh, this I guess we could do both even though you'll probably only see one And this one, do we have one that, I don't think we have one that goes around the whole thing, do we? No square. I really wish they would 
Like, they don't have three sides, they only have one or two. Which is annoying. I mean, I guess technically this would end up stopping somewhere. Maybe we'll just switch it here. Now we have to do all of the belts. I was going to try to do them different colors, but it would be better to keep them all the same. Uh, and then these... I feel like we could probably... I mean, that's not that different. Probably just leave those as they are for now. That, or we may want to put them as... Um, blue. I wish that they had different colors on them, like I wish you could do that, but I guess what we'll go through and we'll just take the junctions and change those. Do we want that to be all the same color or would it be better to have like a different color? I mean, I guess they could potentially, if they were blue, then it would probably look good. with the orange fasteners. It's that, or we go with like different kind of blue. with orange. And before I paint the whole thing blue, I need to go back down to Megatron and figure out what swatch is the Megatron swatch for the water facility. Guess we go with yellow. Hey Dan, how's it going? So one of the things I want to do um, in the next little while, especially with holidays coming up and a lot more people potentially being on Twitch, um, I would like to start to get more into some variety streaming. Oh, why is that not? Where are you going? Oh, you're going into there. Okay. Uh, so I don't need this here at all. Um, I'd like to do more variety streaming, more like different games and stuff. So if you have a game that you'd like to see me play, uh, either here in chat right now, obviously for some conversation, but uh, feel free to throw it in the Discord. Um, the Town Hall is a good spot for that, I think.
Now, do we keep those? Maybe we make these yellow. It's that or we turn them gray and make them like less obvious. I kind of think we go with the dark carbon steel. So many little bits. I wish I had thought about this sooner, but here we are. I also don't know if we necessarily need some of these. You need them for the construction, but they don't have to stay. start deleting them there I should start deleting them everywhere just a nice cleaner look looks a little bit more spacey a little bit more sci-fi these ones I'll keep because they've got the pipes attached to them These pipes are a different color. I was obviously testing out to see what colors might look better best. You know, the gray is not bad. Kind of matches the machines. Hmm. I might like the gray more. We just go with the carbon steel. A little shiny. Yeah, I think the gray. That saves me from going all the way to Megatron, too. Alright, let's do that. That way we can do this all in one go. all that color. Did I move? Yeah. Get rid of this. Get rid of these. Okay. Yeah. Matchy matchy. I like it.
It's weird. Why is that there? Oh, there's some odd segments in here. I don't want to mess with that. I feel like that's going to screw some stuff up. Weird. Um, I think I know what happened there. That's probably how I built it. We can probably set pipes to this color. So I don't have to repaint anything. I was watching one of the satisfactory videos and Snut said that you're usually a lot better off if you are connecting your pipes to existing connectors rather than putting the connectors on existing pipes. He said he has fewer issues. Not that there should be issues, but currently one way to avoid those issues is to lay your, your pipe connectors first. That's what they said. Looks solid to me. Once you establish the pattern that you want to do, it's really not that difficult. Just have to remember these little belts. Which is just the completionist in me needing everything to be sorted and not forgot about. Eventually, I'd like to make this a world available for people to to download. Um, I, I will make it available for my patrons, and I have uh, made my blueprints available, so I'll add this to Patreon at the end of the month. Oops, that's supposed to be orange. See any extra stuff on this row? Uh, Defro 5. When you are working with a bunch of fluids, what is your approach to balancing your flow? Um, I just make sure that the machines that I have down are taking 100% of what's happening. The way that the fluids work in the game, and don't take this as gospel, um, from the best that I can decipher, is that you have to wait for the pipe to be saturated. And so your things are going to stutter for a while until things get up in full. So like right now, what you want is is the 
this flow rate is going to be fluctuating, but this is going to be, if you want, you want this to be full. And if that's full, then you're usually good to go. And I just make sure that whatever is in the pipe is 100% of what's needed. So no more, no less. So the water is coming in from over here. And one of those is underclocked or overclocked or whatever to make sure that these three pipes are delivering exactly what we need into the system. All this painting is a good argument for overclocking, so you can use less machines to paint. Yeah, no, that's fair. I think that's a fair assessment. I think that also, if I was to do this again, or you'll notice as when I do future builds, uh, I tend to paint the blueprints, and so I don't have to do this later. This just happens to be one of the very first things we've built in Devastator, and as a result, it's old and not painted. And um, I was waiting until waiting until I had the opportunity with the final swatches and knew what I wanted to do. And that's all iron. But yeah, normally I would not paint things last. Normally there would be a design phase in the blueprint where the majority of this stuff would be done which eliminates a lot of the tedious stuff of like painting belts and splitters and mergers right? You just you paint them in the blueprint and then they go down all the right color. And um, this was not done with blueprints. This was I think built before blueprints were in the game just to kind of give you an idea how long this factory floor has been around, right? Let me forget about those little belts. I think that's everything there. Oh, no, forget that. Man, the frame rate is just horrible. I wonder if it's because we've got so much going on the belts now. The crappy thing about sealing this off eventually is that you're not going to get any natural light in here. Unless we find some way to get like a skylight in between the, the factories. Which I guess is a possibility. Alright, so that was the third, third bay. We've got one more to go. Then we got to figure out where to put all of these signs and stuff. To actually make it look good.
Stream time is an hour. Thanks very much. Uh, I don't know what the sun is like, but let me just double check. Thanks. Appreciate that, Sandy. Okay, so that takes care of all of that stuff. I guess I'm okay with the signs like that. I don't think they need to be anything special. These feel really funny hovering like that, so we might have to put those on something. And also this feels really strange. Not sure why these aren't pipe holes. Let me check check the sunshine here. Oh yeah, I should probably take a break. We got a little while before the sun goes down. We're a little off today, but I can't really help that sometimes. Oh yeah, if the night was about 25 minutes in, I don't want to push it too far. I've got to keep the stream tight today. It is a local provincial election here in Nova Scotia, and so I have to go vote. And if I leave that too late, then I'll be in lineup forever. So I want to be able to do it right after stream. Do, 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 do. How are we doing for... Wheeljack. Yep. Looks good to me. Folks, I take a break about once an hour. It is that time. You get to ride the brake train and in the daylight today. So you'll get to see a fair bit of uh, Megatron and the other areas of the save. I will be back in five or seven minutes.
I'm just realizing now that all of my concrete foundations, as temporary as they are, are bright green. <laughs> I'm not sure why I didn't notice that. I guess it's because it's always at night when I'm taking the train. Uh, also, zero T triple six. Thanks very much for the tier one sub. Sorry, I missed that. Um, Twenty two minutes ago, did that come up on screen? Did that make a noise? Because I did not, I did not catch that. Uh, but I really appreciate it. And you're right, Sandy. Yeah, I do like to catch those. Uh, it did. Thanks, Penguin Dude. Um, so I'm just dumb. <laughs> uh, sorry to miss it, Cyril. I was knee deep in painting. There. Still though, uh, the the noise should usually alert me. Like I I normally catch that stuff. One of those days, I guess. Very focused. That's fair. That's fair. I can't really see what we've been doing from over here, and eventually that's going to be covered up. I'm not even sure if we're bringing in enough water to have that all working. I feel like there had to be like a miner or something else happening over here for that to work. More like shoulder deep, yeah. Can't I repaint all foundations in one go? Uh, no. Because if they changed, um, you could if you were placing new ones. Um, or if I wanted to change the green uh, swatch. But I don't. So the problem there is um, they were made using one of these swatches probably. what would be a good could I guess the ceiling could be here I'm probably gonna need to add in another layer and I would say this is gonna go I think the idea was to have these stick out of the edge a little bit. I wish we had better ways of doing this. Although I say that and this would probably look better as gray. Looks like I was going to do a window up here.
And that's, I think, the inside, so we're going to have to figure out how to fix that. That's not going to work over here. So that's four meters. I kind of wonder whether this would look better if it was a roof piece. a little bit more texture. That could be fun. You need to create a factory for phase four. Wow. Yeah, I can see that being tricky. We, I think this is all still phase three stuff. Man, I really wish I could figure out what's going on with my frame rate. It is really rough. Do I have, I'm just wondering if I have anything turned on that I shouldn't. I was taking screenshots. Maybe I turned on... No, nope, global illumination is off. That'll be a special case when we eventually get to it. We were down here. Oh, yeah, I, I was doing... You know, look at this. Now that doesn't go straight. That's probably why I didn't want to do it. said okay and that works out okay don't really care how it looks underneath here that's fine a lot better. Okay. Now, 
Um, I guess. Do we want to go orange for these? What did I do up here? I think they were orange or orange related. Yeah, we could probably do something a little bit more fun down here. Pretty good. It's that or we make it gray. I think I'm partial to the orange. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep it orange. Keep it colorful. So this will just make orange as well. And I guess I need to change all of these. This is outside, I think. Yeah, that's tr tricky. We're going to have to figure out how to handle that. So I don't want that to be green, I don't think. Guess we can put a door here. That might be where we need to put the signs. This combo of gray panel, oops, of gray panel, I think really works well with the concrete. Now, up here, do we have anything that's going to show through if I do this? Where does this go? It might. Oh, do I want that to be... Maybe we'll leave that open. That's kind of cool. Happy accident. Wasn't planning for that. Now that is going to be outside, so we may not have to worry as much about this. Yeah, once we get to here, I don't think it needs to be as robust. So one, two, three.
I really do like this neutral kind of like I don't want to say theme but like color decision or texture decision for the basement I feel like it seems to make a lot of sense Is that a different color? It's because I missed it, I guess. How's that not the right color? Weird. Oh, missed one. And these, I think I'll make these into their own color. I'll just use gray. Oops. Because it is iron. It's going to the other building. And then limestone. I don't really have a color for limestone. So we'll do yellow, I guess, for now. Not going anywhere, so we'll figure that out later. Uh, this could probably... Uh, I don't know whether that's going to be a wall. It's probably going to be a wall. So for this... Probably switching over to... Concrete. Except for the bottom. leave those signs where they are. Now, that nonsense probably should change. And I think that's up inside the wall here. Normally I wouldn't care, but because it's part uh, visually of the ceiling downstairs, it'd be better to just do this all one. And then we'll also paint it this color as well. So at least now if we add anything down here, we've got a theme and sort of see what's going on. Oh, I guess I could change those to gray, couldn't I? change these to gray. These are always really tricky to aim at. You're always going to hit something behind it. 
And these are all copper related. And these are all iron related. Okay, so now it's just a matter of making some of this stuff actually look good. Easier said than done, especially in the dark. And yeah, like I really feel like my FOV is super close. Is the FOV. No. It's not close. Yeah, field of view, 90. That's, yeah, that's normal. That's what it should be at. Weird. So we have to refine this a little bit. This will be tricky in the dark. I feel like this also needs to look a lot nicer too and be somewhere else. I wonder if we can put that here. That would make sense. I guess it would make cool if I could put it here on something, but I guess I could make like a little wall. I could fit all of that stuff there. Maybe we don't need those. first because that's not centered that is though I'm so glad that they have copy and paste for signs.
So that's that bay at the end that isn't hooked up yet. Oops. Copy. Why are you not pasting? And this indicates where these things go upstairs. At least this is not floating anymore. I think that looks pretty good. I don't know if we could do anything else to make it look a little bit fancier. This needs to be up here, but we'll leave them there for now. So that's that's pretty good, I think. Oh, I missed one. I don't see anything else sticking out at me. Yeah, I think that sort of matches what we've got going on up here. Makes sense. I can put this back, I think. So now we're on to the ceiling and how to handle that. And I, I guess, well, I guess I could probably look at the walls too. Um, I don't think that's an exterior wall, so we could probably go with gray for that as well. or not, so we'll do windows for now. That show on the inside? It does. So we'll do that, and then I guess over here. Don't know where the exterior wall is going to be there. Oh, we should wait for that. Fourteen that time. So let's see if we can't center this somehow. Yeah, copying signs is a, a real advantage for sure. I'm noticing some of these machines are getting orange. I don't know why.
no good reason. Again, we've got pr we've got like production bugs. Like these things are going orange, and I don't know. I don't understand why. There's no floor holes in this production. Everything seems to have a hundred of what it needs, full capacity, right? So why is this only doing 41%? There's a bottleneck somewhere, I guess. So it must be some sort of slowdown there. Alright, so that's 13. So then we can quickly put in windows just to not have it be a completely dark mess. This window may just end up going to the next factory. But at least it's not like a dead wall. And then we've got these two in a bit. So we can probably do something like that here. Really, you're not going to let me put... It's so weird. Don't know why it does that. Because I can do it over here. Oh, no, now it says I can't. I guess it depends on the window. Um, we could just do like an overlap. I guess this zigzag doesn't really need to be there, does it? Doesn't really make any sense to have that there. Leave this open as a way to get down while we're building. So this wrapping around the corner feels a little bit odd. So we'll have to come up with a way to make that make sense. And one of the easiest ways is usually to have something overlapping this section here. So we could very easily just have this stick out a bit. Have a little overlap here. Changes the shape of the window a little bit. And then it's not the end of the world visually and then probably up here as well That window might be a little bit too too high. Maybe we have to knock that down a bit. Maybe. down a little bit further.
Not sure. Could go the other way, maybe? the other room. That's the other room. Top does feel a little bit funny. Maybe we have to change that a little bit. That's a little bit more in line with what we have. It's not quite the same, but it's close. Got them backwards, actually. If I used this one. up a little bit better. Just so it's not an empty thought. And we'll probably move this up here. Now the other window unfortunately is outside. So we'll have to think about how we handle that. I guess we could just add the layer. And that could be different inside than it is outside. It's a nice thing that you can do in the game anyway. Looks a little bit better. Need a dark edge above the window? I don't know. Um, I 
I know I'm trying to not copy exactly what I've got. Like I'm just trying to iterate and have something new and cool, but not necessarily the exact same. I think what might end up happening is that the window might end up going lower. Like we might end up shifting the window from being one, two, three to being like one, two, three, like on the bottom ones. I don't know. I'm going to wait. This is just kind of like a temporary idea. I should have explained that, I guess, as I was going, because I don't know what's happening in this room. And until I do, you know, this might not be a thing. I might want to put a door in the middle there. I don't, I don't know. So I'm going to just having it look like some intentional design is floating around, but not having it be um, perfect. What I need to do, uh, realizing now these are attached to the ceiling. And then this power goes out there. This was, I think, for me designing stuff for the hover pack. Um, but all of these are attached to the ceiling and none of my other machines are. So I don't know. We might have to go back sort this out. I really need to figure out how I'm going to get all this going because I, I don't know where that's going to end up and how it's going to be part of things. Bay 5 is definitely up in the air. So the last thing is this ceiling part and this is a logistics floor so it really doesn't matter what texture that is as far as the upstairs is concerned. What I want to think about down here is lighting. I think we can just safely copy the same ideas I had over here with like the recessed kind of dropped in bit with the beams. I think that's fine. Now you're going to see it a lot more out here because there's going to be a lot more of it. And I'm thinking we should highlight this area as opposed to the actual machines. Uh, I think that we should probably have the lights, say, for example, down this section here. And I guess so that's there. If I did these all correctly, then I should be able to space them out. Using your paint um, customizer tool to like count and map things out is also very handy. So it looks like there's a space of three between. There's a light, space of three, row of lights, space of three row of lights and then we could potentially have either special lights above the window or no lights I don't know that feels about right this might end up being moved so then how many of these and do they look good if they're put in this kind of like configuration Is that even close enough? Like, do we want to bring that farther along? Don't know what I did for texture. I think it's shiny. Yeah. This was different kinds of rows. So these were right next to each other, essentially. But then there's almost a light in between them. So I feel like we could probably get away with that. Uh, these are one and a half foundations, roughly. Or exactly. Yeah, one and a half. So we've got one. Maybe we'll do four. Four in total. And probably facing the other way. Or wait a minute. Yeah, we probably want to rotate these. So that they go the length of the room. 
that way. So then that's going to make it a little bit easier for us. We could probably center them on whatever we have going this way, right? So... Skip two, add one, skip two, add one, and that leaves two there, and I think it was two on the other end. Close to it. So it's three, but this is a wider space. Or two to the edge of this. Now it's only one. But there's a bigger space here. I think that's probably pretty good. And the question is just make sure that it's centered that way. And I'm probably going to want to flip them around. And the next question will be, do we want to drop them down or into the ceiling? Or I guess have the ceiling drop. Because we could do that too. But that is likely better if we use the beams. I don't remember how I did that. Beams are not quite as low as the next thing. Okay, the beams are in the middle. So that should work. We should still be able to flip this around. I'm just going to quickly hook these up. I think that's enough light. And I think that they're illuminating the right thing. Let's just... Maybe I'll pull it from up here refresh the switch Now it's orange. And if we change these uh, things above it, of course, the hitbox gets in the way. At some point I thought I was going to keep the... Maybe it's only under the lights we want to do 
the shiny bits and then maybe this other spot we want to do grip metal. It's like maybe the three by the lights will do that and then the grip metal will be down here. And then maybe also along the edge. Just to keep consistent. I don't know. That might have to change. I don't like these. So those are not going to stay there. So now I'm going to go up here. Let's just poke ourselves in here. So this should be a pretty easy fix too. I can just do this all in here and never have to worry about it. Make sure I'm not creating a bunch of silly little things. Two hours and two minutes. Thanks very much for the heads up, Sandy. I'll probably just go until the sun goes down. Oh, we should go up and down the aisles. That seems to be a better way to do it. Two at once. Bali, hello, welcome in. Oh, that might have been a mistake. I'm sure there's a faster way to do this, but I'm going for easy. Uh oh, out of plastic. that much and we need to put some plates back man hypertubes make things so much easier and yeah I'm I'm really getting some drop frames I, I apologize folks I don't know what's going on normally it's not this not this chuggy That reminds me. Just in case. What is the coated color? I don't know what the default... Oh, it's black. Okay. That's fine. Uh, this might be the last row. Looks good. It is really kind of obnoxious how often your hover pack pulls electricity from power nodes even when you're not using it.
Oh, it looks like I missed some stuff here. Probably outside the wall. Oh, that's what it is. It's outside of the... Not part of the underbelly. So if that's going to look like that, how am I going to attach the wiring so it looks good? I wish they gave you um, lines for lining up the lights like they do machines. Be handy. So I could have a drop ceiling like that. It's very it's very simple. They're just offset by by one, and then. If I run the, the beam this way, oh, I had more control, but maybe I don't. Ah, so I can do it there. Okay. Whoops. So we could have something like that. And somehow, somewhere... Oh, those are gonna those are gonna connect. That has to be over a little bit. go like that. And from down here, don't know what colors those were. And then we should be able to then sneak in our little power node on top of these. Very, very hard to do. We might be able to do it better without this in place. Doable. I like it. And then we could probably sneak the power through here and get everything connected. That makes sense to me. And then we could probably just use um, the center of these guys as a marker.
I do like it when stuff like this works out. Like you're just, it's, it was a problem that I just did not know how I was going to solve the last time I was playing. And I think I've managed to figure it out. And then here we would just do the same thing. We would have uh, a corner piece here. And I'm not sure how far. About a meter, I guess. See why that has to be a meter and a half, perhaps. But if we do all the wiring before we put up the ceiling, it should be pretty easy. Hopefully that looks okay. I imagine you can still see a little bit of a dangling wire, but it's probably not the end of the world. Yeah, it's not too bad. Bam Bam, hello. Thanks for the lurk. Good luck with the homework. So we could leave this flush, or we could nudge them over. It's not really going to hide anything, so imagine we just leave them like they are. And then these could very easily be changed to the grip metal to be consistent with what we've done over there. So once we hide this part, which should be pretty easy. I mean, I'd imagine we could just use the ceiling in here, right?
Yeah. That would connect it to the same lights, I guess. Oops. sketchy side, but I'll take it. So that's that all hidden. You can still technically see that stuff, but I don't know what else we could do to hide that other than running another beam. We didn't really... We didn't really hide it over here. It's just that it's a, it's a little bit closer to the ceiling. And you can't see it because of where we stand down here, really. So it's all still visible. And not as visible without my headlamp on. Alternatively, we could also... There might be something we could put up there. We could put a wall up there or something, maybe. Yeah, like something like that. And then just one meter by default. Like even just putting a one meter here. It does a little bit, but not much. The only other thing I can think of would be putting like a ramp or something there. That eh, doesn't really change much. Or we could add a beam. The fact that these are hovering is a little bit odd. I'm also wondering about the color. I wonder if we have to go darker. That looks a little bit better. I think darker works. I may be putting this a little bit too much attention on something that people are just not going to look at. I guess I could take that one all the way to the end.
just matte black the whole thing. Could do that to the ceiling too, really. Ooh, I think I like that. There's just enough reflection there for that to work nicely. Yeah, I think that's good. Simple. Should be able to repeat that. How often do you watch at the roof? Yeah, it's um, it's not very often. It's more about like the impression I want to give rather than the details, right? I'm getting better at placing beams. There's a little trick to moving them a half meter to get them to line up. Yeah, I think let's go upstairs. And we'll just paint the first section black and see if that makes a big difference. See, that's about half. I think that's good. I think that's slick. I may actually want to go beyond this edge here. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Most of the time it's going to be viewed from probably an angle like this, right? It feels a little bit plain, but we could also... We could also add a couple of things along the outside too. The shiny ceiling does a lot of work, which is nice. I don't know if I have an orange light in here, but we'll try the um, yellow one. I 
Uh, Alevic D, hello, welcome in. Thanks for saying hello. I'm doing great, thank you. Ooh, that's kind of fun. I think that distracts a bit from how kind of odd it looks. Uh, we may not do them in the middle. Maybe we do like closer to the edge or something. Yeah, I like it. The shiny roof is great because of the, the green lights here. You're like, we get some more colors and some cool things. It looks like there's a lot more happening up there when it's really just empty, right? Night has fallen again. Yes, I unfortunately need to wrap things up. Um, but we can, of course, pass everybody along. This is going to look really cool when when those are um, lined up. I don't. I feel like they're the right temperature or they're, not, they're the right intensity. Yeah, but it really highlights the the refineries. We may have to come up with something for here because they're pretty dark. But once we have like three or four rows of those, I think it's going to look good. Makes it feel pretty solid and finished. It's taken a while, but um, but we'll get there. Uh, this is satisfactory. That's the category that I'm streaming in, Elevic. Uh, unfortunately, I do have to wrap things up. Let me just see where I can pass you along to. It's always fun to send you along to somebody else playing the same game if possible um or i can send you along to pixaris playing elder ring let's do that just because uh pix and i just did a podcast yesterday and i'm sure you're all familiar with with johnny so i will send you along to pix be kind enjoy the rest of your day uh i will be Back on Wednesday, tomorrow, 1 o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus four hours. Uh, you can check me out on social media, at Joel Duggan, wherever you like to hang your social media hat. Podcasts are free. The Spun Chunks podcast about Minecraft and the Citadel Cafe podcast about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment, wherever you find your podcasts. YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, we're everywhere. Uh, so check those out, download them. If you like them, tell a friend. It's free and it does a huge uh, amount to help us out and spreading the the shows around so uh, i very much appreciate it thanks for the bits today thanks for the subscriptions and thank you to sandy for the lovely moderation i will catch you all tomorrow have a fantastic rest of the day bye for now